okay. Right, so we were, are going to discuss the sacral chakra because this is where we're up to. Now, we, we have learned about the energy and the chakras being blocked and what, what it is and how it can take a toll on our emotional and our physical health. So the second chakra, which is located just below your belly button and sort of like your inner pelvis, um, and it's associated with the colour orange, now, it is the symbol, has uh, six petals, a symbol with six petals, it's orange and it has circles it, like a lotus flower. So it represents the cycles of birth, death and rebirth. <clears throat> Sorry. It also is associated with the element of water. So water is all about flow, flexibility, freedom, um, freedom of expression and, and sexuality, sensuality. So this en energy centre, when it's balanced, offers sort of direct flow, flexibility and fun in your life. So this chakra, it, it addresses your relationship with yourself and how you relate to others. Um, it's about creativity and, and discovering your creative power and how to cultivate your relationship with pleasure. So basically, you know, you will learn, like, is it about learning to freely express your wants and needs and emotions to others? Um, so if it's blocked, you can actually have, like, ovarian cysts, reproductive issues, because it's all in that area, um, chronic and lower back pain, all this area, anything in this area if you have that energy blocked, it can be because your your sacral chakra needs a little bit of healing. So when I do a little meditation with my sacral chakra, I'll put my hand just below my belly button and one hand on my base chakra and breathe deep into that area and, you know, really ground in and meditate down into that area. So when we are thinking about, you know, it's associated with water, a really quite great way to, you know, release a lot of that stagnant energy is to get into flowing water. So if you have a river, a creek, a lake, an ocean near you that is flowing water, go and put your feet, at least your feet in it. If you can get in the water and it's nice and warm or whatever, or bear the cold, like you can bear the brunt of the cold, Go and jump in and allow that water to draw out that negative energy and flow through your body and flush it out, you know, and imagine it and really sit deep and imagine with that, that negative stagnant energy flowing out and the water washing it away. So you know how with the base chakra, chakra we imagine the earth and the roots going down into the earth with your sacral. You can imagine that flowing of the, of the water flowing through your body, through your energy and washing it out. Um, so, yeah, like this chakra being associated with sensuality and creativity it's a centre of pleasure and your overall fulfilment with life. So are you happy with life at the moment? And I know that being sick or unwell or having health issues can really drag you down and you don't feel that your life is fulfilled or you're not happy in your life and you get stuck in this cycle of feeling sorry for yourself and I don't want to go anywhere and I'm not enjoying life. So to flip that, it's about... Finding what is enjoyable in your life. Yes, you're feeling sick, but how can I create my life of feeling better? What can I choose today to make me feel better? Do I drink enough fresh, clean, filtered water? Because that's drinking that filtered water is going to help as well. Am I choosing the right food? Am I um, doing some things for myself that make me happy? These are the things that, you know, to get that enjoyment and fulfilment out of life. And I know that you don't always feel like it. You don't have the energy. You don't have the time. But surely there is a little five minutes throughout the day where you can just do something for you, whether it's a breathing exercise, something that's going to nourish your body, make you feel better, and really, you know, give you that 
um, fulfillment back in your life. So when you change your thought process of my life's terrible, I'm sick, I've got everything wrong with me, when you are saying that out loud, writing it in a message to someone, putting it on Facebook, whatever it is that you're doing, I'm so sick, I feel like crap, blah, blah, blah. You, that's the energy you're putting into your life. So instead of thinking like that, start to think I'm getting better every day. I am choosing things that are going to help me get better. You know, stop focusing on how medication is going to help me and a and an operation. and a, Those are all things that you can do and, and they're going to be part of your healing and they're going to be part of, you getting, you know, where you need to feel better. But those are the things you shouldn't be focusing on. The energy of those is a very low vibration. The high vibration energy is, you know, I'm learning from this. I've made some much healthier choices. I've stopped drinking. I've stopped having coffee. I've stopped eating burgers. Whatever it is, look at what has changed for you during this journey that has improved your life and focus on that. Like I'm much happier because I no longer eat gluten and I no longer am bloated after a meal. Things like that. Focus on what is improving in your life to bring in the enjoyment of life because if you're going to be stuck in this, oh, I'm doing all the right things, I'm eating this, I'm doing that and I'm still sick, that is bringing the vibration of your healing down. Raise the vibration. Find gratitude in, in the things that you're doing. Look at how far you've come. Don't look at how far you've got to go. Looking at the positive aspect, which don't get me wrong, I know it can be so difficult when you're feeling unwell, but when you are feel, you know, when you create that different energy and you look at it differently, then you are going to create a different energy all throughout your body and start to align yourself with a more positive outcome. So if you're not getting anywhere with, and you think you're doing all the right things, maybe you're not. Maybe there is something in your energetic field, your your mindset, whatever it is. You know, and, and give yourself time to heal. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Give yourself time to feel better and get to where you need to go all of those things. So I want to talk about crystals. You know, I'm still learning about crystals and I'm absorbing everything from people and I'm starting to really love uh, working with this and with the energy of the chakras. So crystals that may help with the sacral chakra, uh, carnelian, orange calcite, citrine. I have some citrine here. You know, those orange colours, um, citrines also are good for good for abundance, so abundance of health, abundance of money, abundance of anything. Abundance isn't just always related to uh, money. Sunstone, tiger's eye, amber, moonstone, goldstone, they are all going to help, you know, bring that warmth and glow to your health, to your health journey and, and, and help you centre around that sacral chakra. So if you're starting with your base chakra and then you're moving up to your sacral chakra because it's going to help that flow of energy moving up, you know, to your heart, all through, you know, your throat chakra, all the way through your body. So, you know, it's it's the centre of sacral chakra is the centre of your creative spirit and your inner fire. So work with that, get that going to help you move along with your, with your journey. And I know... This is really new for some people and some people might even be sitting here going, this is crazy. I don't believe in energy. I don't believe in chakras. But when you look at yourself and you write down the things that you are struggling with, or yes, I do talk about my, my health like that, it's important to acknowledge that where you're at because if you're not going to acknowledge where you're at in your journey, it's you're not going to get any further. I, I see some people make comments in the group and I'll, I can see where you're at in your journey by your, the way you comment. Um, if you're putting negative comments or you're, you know, no, that won't work, I'm not trying that, no, this is the only way, all those things, that is a real low vibration. So looking at raising your vibration with energetically is super, super important. It took me a while to realise this, but I've come, <laughs> I've seen the light. So... Some essential oils, you know, I love my oils and I work with these because they have a really high vibration. Um, 
some essential oils that are going to help with balancing the sacral chakra is a wild orange, one of my favourite oils. It smells amazing. I don't really like um, orange flavoured things, but when I use this orange essential oil in my water, in my chocolate, in, in my cooking, it's not bitter. It is a really lovely flavour and you know, inhaling it and putting it in my diffuser every day, it really gives you that uplifting um, vibration. So wild orange, like citrine, is about abundance as well. So an abundance of whatever it is you're tri trying to create. And it is a, not an expensive oil. It's amazing. It's something that you can just use. Um, I know when I met one of my friends, first time I ever met her, I won't go into what happened, but she, you know, I just thought, God, gosh, I, this woman really needs some wild orange essential oil. And I had a tiny little bottle in my bag. And I just said to her, I'm going to give this to you because you really, really need it. And she loves her oils now. It's a first, it was her first sort of, um, she knows who it is too if she's watching this. Um, it was her first, what do I say, experience with essential oils. And now she just loves them. And every now and then I'll drop a little bit of wild orange to her and it's that really nice bond between us so the essential oil uh, of wild orange is cold pressed from the peel of the orange so we also have neroli which is an essential oil. It comes from the orange tree but it's from the flower and I've got a little thing neroli is the oil of shared purpose and partnership so it's your relationship with other people it helps build that bond it's really good for hormone balancing too um but yeah it's very similar to wild orange because of it comes from the same tree so you also have ylang ylang a really beautiful soft essential oil um it's, it's the oil of the inner child, so that happiness. You know, when you're a kid, you're, you're more playful and happy. Ylang Ylang helps emotionally bring that out as well. So that's why it's really good for the sacral chakra. Sandalwood is always really recommended for the sacral chakra um, because it's a healthy sense of self-acceptance and it's really good for expression of sensuality and sexuality creativity emotional expression so um, i use a sandalwood in my diffuser quite often you've got jasmine which i often put over the heart um, it is the oil uh, what is it sexuality sorry i've got here oh the oil of sexual purity and balance so if you are not feeling sexual or sensual or you're too much in that area you're up or you're down jasmine can help balance that with the sacral chakra um it, it helps you like to liberate and, and release your inhibitions um it, it helps you know promote love and, and love of not just other people but of yourself so jasmine oil is fantastic for that um energy for the sacral chakra you know um You've got other oils that might be good like grapefruit, tangerine, all of these beautiful oils to help balance that energy because essential oils have a really, really high vibration and putting them on your body and allowing them to get into the cells of your body, even if you're smelling them just in the diffuser from the palm of your hand, it is helping with that emotional um healing you've got your emotional center right here in your brain so when you smell something it goes up to the emotional center of your brain that is why smells have an effect on our emotions and our memory it triggers an emotional response and it triggers a memory when you smell you might smell um like rose oil and you might think oh that smells like my nan's garden something like that you you often refer to a smell as, with a memory so this is why essential oils have become a really strong part of my healing so i don't know how many um of you actually dive into essential oils with healing but it is a really really amazing way to start um crystals as well like i said i'm still learning i've got some crystals here i've got things that i'm diving into 
but everything's learning for me. I'm always learning, always, you know, wanting to share it with you. So put in the comments what you thought about this live video. If there's something else you want me to talk about, I'm going to move on now um, and start posting about the solar plexus chakra and how where in your healing journey it could be out of balance and how you can get that flow of energy going all the way through your body. Yes, Steph, it is good enough to smell them straight from the bottle. Diffuser, straight from the bottle, uh, any anyway. As soon as you're smelling an oil, you are igniting that emotional centre in your brain and it is a cellular thing because that emotional centre is connected to your central nervous system as well. So you can affect all the parts of your body. So... I, I like to wear them on my body and people always, always comment, geez, you smell nice. But I never got those comments when I wore perfume and I think it's because that synthetic smell and, you know, like perfume can give people, they can make them feel sick, give them a headache. I know there were certain um, perfumes that I used to feel queasier and start to feel off or you walk into a, a part of a department store that has perfume and it just turns you off. So essential oils don't do that for me and I don't know many people have said, oh, God, I get a headache as soon as I walk into your house. Everyone goes, oh, it makes them feel good. They walk in here, even my son, like his school friends, their parents are like, oh, gosh, Jay smells amazing when he walks into this house. It smells like your house. I never get a negative comment about the smell and people relate to that. So... I hope this has helped anybody in this group. Share this. It's going to be uploaded to YouTube. All of these videos are uploaded to YouTube, Naomi Suzanne Official. I hope that, you know, if you have any more questions, please DM me or you can DM Rochelle. Um, she's in the team. Ask us what it is you need to know. If you uh, need to go a bit further in your healing journey and you're feeling stuck, I have a 20-minute chat that you can um, book in with me. I've got some times left next week. Book it in and we can have that free chat so I can. I know I can help you get further. I know I can help you where you're at, whether it be physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of those things. There's going to be something that I can help you with for sure. So just go on to naomishomehealth.com and you can book in that free 20 minute chat or ask me for the link just message me and i'll send you the link straight away